Here's my first video over the unit circle, and in this particular video, we're going to look at only filling in the radians and degrees on this. We're going to actually break filling out the unit circle into two videos to kind of keep them somewhat short. And so what is the unit circle? The, the unit circle is an immensely helpful tool for trigonometry and pre-cal. But basically what it is, is it's a circle that's centered at the origin and has a radius of one. So if you picture a, a normal coordinate plane and you got this little circle with a radius of one, it's like we're really zooming in on that circle. And so what this is going to help us do is it's going to help us really quickly um, evaluate trigonometric functions. And so, but we're first going to fill out some of these important values on here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in some of the angles. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start um, by recognizing something. And that thing that we're going to recognize is that this is the point one zero, this is the point zero one. And this is the point negative one zero. And we're just looking at the top half of the unit circle. This point would be the origin zero zero. Because as we mentioned, it's that radius of one. So if you went directly to the right, that would be the ordered pair one comma zero. So I'm going to kind of keep those points there for reference. But let's fill in some of these angles. And what our angles are going to do first is let's look at the angles that are multiples of 30. We have every 30 degrees shown on the unit circle. So I'm skipping. You might notice I'm skipping one. And I'll explain that in a minute. But what we're going to do is I'm going to fill out these angles first. And so our angles, as I said, are going in multiples of 30. So you have 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees, okay? Then 120, 150, and then halfway around that circle is 180. Now, there's those angles, but what we also have is we have every, multiples of 45 degrees. And so I have 45 degrees would go here, 90 degrees, and then 90 plus 45 would be 135, and then plus another 45 would be 180. And so if you want to, you could continue this pattern around, but basically those are going to be our angles. So we've gotten all of the angles in degrees filled in. Now we're going to talk about the radians. And, and, and next to each degree measure is a radian measure. And so if you are, are a little bit shaky on radians, I'm going to link my video on radians on here. You might need to go watch that first. But what we're going to do is we're going to fill in the radian measures that are multiples of 30 degrees. And I'm going to put them in these blanks right next to the degree measures. Well, first off, 0 degrees is obviously 0 pi. And then we know that 180 degrees is pi. Now the question is, we're going to do just these 30 degree multiples first. So I'm going to do the 30 degree measure, the 60 degree measure, the 90 degree measure, so on and so forth. And so we, I want to ask myself first, is what is the radian measure of 30 degrees? Well, we know that 30 is 1 sixth of 180. So if you take 180 and divide by 6, you get 30. So if you take pi and divide by 6, you get pi over 6. So if 30 degrees is pi over 6, this would be 2 pi over 6. Then you got 3 pi over 6. You got 4 pi over 6. You got 5 pi over 6. And then this one right here would be 6 pi over 6. And 6 pi over 6 is just 1. So we've got those filled in, okay? Now what we can do is we can simplify them. So for example, 2 pi over 6 is just... 2 over 6 is 1 third, right? 3 pi over 6, 3 over 6 is 1 half, or pi over 2. 4 pi over 6 is 2 pi over 3. So all of these fractions are going to simplify to this. Now, let's do the same thing. We're going to do the same thing, but with our multiples of 45 degrees. So we're going to do this one, this one, and this one. Basically get these last couple of blanks. So if I think, how many times does 45 degrees go into 180? Hopefully you're saying it goes in there four times. 180 divided by 4 is 45. So therefore, pi divided by 4 would be pi over 4. So 45 degrees is pi over 4 radians. You've got pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, which, you, which we've already simplified. Then you have 3 pi over 4 and 4 pi over 4, which is 1 pi, which once again, we have already simplified. So we've done that. And so, so we've done the top half of our unit circle. We've done all of the degrees all the way around, and we've done all of the radians all the way around, and then we simplified those radian measures. So we see that just taking every 30-degree angle in a circle 
and then it's taking every 45 degree angle in the circle. So what I want you to do now is I've kind of cut it off and I've got a typo here, but I want you to complete the unit circle. I want you to pause the video, see if you can keep these patterns going and do the bottom half with those rotations. Whenever you're ready, hit play. Um, but I'll go ahead and show that. And this is what your completed unit circle should look like. We've got our ordered pairs, one, zero, zero, one, that got cut off. That's actually a, uh, I'll add my negative there. That's a negative one, zero and then zero, negative one. And then we've got all of our degree measures shown in purple and all of our radian measures shown in green. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna get to the really helpful part. We're gonna figure out what are all these ordered pairs? We see what one zero is and what zero one is, but these are gonna be some weird fractions and decimals. What are these locations? And we'll cover that in our next video.